Welcome back McFly subscribers. So this is what we're going to be tying today. It's a little crappie jig. Pretty simple to tie actually. And first we're going to need a jig hook. So you can see these hooks here. They have a little bend in them. They're called a jig hook. And this one is from Risen Fly. I really like these jig hooks. They're quite strong and super sharp and they work great. So this is their 9230 and it's size 12. You can go size 10 if you want. I would make the bead a little larger. We're also gonna need a bead and I'm using a tungsten salata bead because they're quite heavy. So you could actually fish these on a little spinning rod as well. And they will cast, um, they're quite heavy. Um, especially if you go with that four and a half millimeter. And this is a four millimeter. And when putting a bead on the hook, the easiest way is to put the bead in your hand and bring the hook point to it like so. When the bead is on the hook, you can see that there's a slot here. These are slotted beads. You definitely want the slotted beads or it's not going to sit right. But the slot here, it's got to be oriented the right direction. As you can see, now that locks in. You can almost hear a click there. Okay, there's a little round part up at the top and that needs to be angled up. And there's a square part and that won't allow it to go down. Okay, so that needs to go up and you can see that that goes up in. Next, I'm using Viva Sixot in Chartreuse. And yes, I'm almost out of this thread, but I've got another spool. So we're going to start the thread right behind the bead here. And you can snap or snip off the, the waist there. You want to tie this up into the bead until it doesn't move. So... There we go, that's in there, nice and solid. Now the other thing you could do is add a couple wraps of lead wire. So for instance, if you wanted this even heavier, there's 0.015 size lead wire, that could work, 0 0.010 could work. You don't wanna to go too thick um, because you kinda of want that lead to rest up into that slot. So you could definitely do that as well if you wanted to make these heavier. Next we're gonna bring the thread all the way down to right at the start of the hook bend and we're going to come back up one wrap. Next I got this midge flash pearl and you could use regular crystal flash if you wanted but this is a midge size crystal flash it's just a little finer. I like it a lot. We're going to cut two strands off. We're going to try to align those tips and we're going to tie this in at the back here about a hook shank length back from the hook. We're going to make two or three wraps up and then come back a wrap and then wrap that, uh, pull the forward facing strands rearward and wrap back up on top of it. And then we can cut this to the same length. A little pro tip here, if you just wet the tip there, it'll keep it together for the next fly. So next, you could use regular marabou um, but these are small little flies, so I like this Chickaboo. This is Whiting's Chickaboo. And I've got the Grizzly Dyed Chartreuse here. And I just pulled off one. You could do two if you wanted a thicker tail. But I'm just doing one today. And if you wet it, it kind of keeps those strands together a little better. So we're going to measure this out to just a little past that flash tail. And you can make this a little shorter if you wanted or a little longer. It's up to you. If you want to make it super long, you can. Just watch that it might foul on the hook bend there. If you go too long um, and too short, it just won't move a lot. I'm going to go right about there. But that's the beauty of tying your own flies is you can kind of custom it to however you want. So I'm going to wrap on, wrap back to just the start of that other tail, at the bend of the hook, start of the bend of the hook. And then I'm going to hold this out. I'm going to make wraps up the hook shank. You don't want to cut it off right at the base or it's going to change the taper of this. And you'll get like a, a big bump right in the center and then you can cut it off with some fine point to the scissors. And by the way, the scissors I'm using today are also made by Risen. Really good scissors, super fine tip. I love them. Um, allows you to get in there really tight, way finer than most other fly tying scissors out there. For instance, this is a Dr. Slick, which are considered also a fine point scissor. And 
you can see the difference. Much finer. It allows you to get in a lot tighter. Okay. So once you capture that, wrap over the frayed ends a couple times. Next, I've got this rayon chenille, medium sized in olive. And by the way, you can tie this in any color combo you want. They make this chickaboo and hot pink, which would be great for crappie. I'm actually going to be using this for sunfish, so that's why I'm tying in an olive and chartreuse. I find that that works really well. But you can tie whatever color combo you want. Chartreuse and, and hot pink is popular for sunfish, um, any sunfish, especially crappie, um, but whatever you want. So we're going to tie that in, the tip right at the end right there, right up by the, the bead. And then we're going to bring the thread back to just shy of that tail. And then we're going to come back up through all that, pull off any of the extra fuzzies. And then we can go ahead and start wrapping. You want to make fairly tight wraps. Don't go too tight or it's going to spin all that. A little trick is you can pinch the tail and then pull tight. if you're worried about it spinning the tail. So I made four wraps. You want them quite touching. Make like a little bulbous body there. And then you just bring the thread under it, like so, twice. You can go over it once, like that. Come in with the fine point scissor. Cut that off super close. And then we're gonna make a couple wraps just to make sure that's tied on super tight. And there you go, you can fish it like that. I like fancying this up just a little bit more. So I've got this hen saddle. It's a whiting red label, hen saddle. And they come like this, and it's just a whole bunch of feathers that, I mean, I've almost picked it completely clean. It's hard to see, sorry, it's such a tight focus here. But you can see the feathers. And here is one, you just pluck off, uh, pluck off one of the feathers and see what the feather looks like. I'm gonna strip off all the fuzzies off the bottom, okay? Make a clean stem. We're going to do the same thing with the other side. Strip that off and we're left with that. Now we can grab the tip, stroke back some of these fibers like so. And we're just going to cut that off at an angle give ourselves a small little tie-in point. So we take that, we just tie that tie-in point up right by the head here. Make a couple wraps over it to really lock that into place. Tight wraps as well. And then I've got these hackle pliers. They're called plunger type. And you can just grab the stem. Okay, they've got a little push button back here. And we're just gonna grab the stem with it like so. And now we've got something that holds on wet your fingers if it makes it easier for you but you just want to stroke those fibers rearward to make sure that they're out of the way like so and then we can just start wrapping this feather over and you're only going to make about one wrap with it and that's perfect you don't want a super hefty head so over it once or under it once over it once and then under it again any combo like that is fine cut that off super close with those fine point scissors and then we're just going to make a couple wraps i'm going to pull everything rearward with our fingers and we are going to wrap over this just a couple more times building a little bit of a hot spot and that's why i'm using chartreuse thread and we will take our whip finisher and we're just going to make a four or five turn whip finish and then i like to end with this at the top and I'll show you why in a second. So then come in super tight, cut that off. And I've got this stuff. It's called Solarez Ultra Thin. It's also called Bone Dry is another, another name for it. But it's a UV resin. It has this nice little applicator, little brush that you can just brush right over top of that whip finish on the knot part of the whip finish. That's why you end at the top. And then you just take a UV light and cure it. And that's nice and hard. It doesn't take long at all and it's cured and that, I mean, that really seals this and it'll make it so it's really hard for any fish to get their teeth in there and fray that thread. And there we go. Fly is now finished.
and this will work for sunfish, I mean even bass, and it jigs, so it kind of wants to go down like this, and then you strip it, or pop it, and it pops up, and then sink down like that, and then bump up, and sink. Perfect for jigging for crappie. And like I said, if you wanted to make this even heavier, you could add a larger bead with a larger hook, or you could also add some lead wraps underneath there, or lead free wraps if you don't want to use lead. The collar really kind of, in my opinion, makes it look really nice. It gives it, it gives it a different look, kind of hides that chenille body a little bit and gives it a uh, more enticing look to the fish. And that stuff will move really nice. This is all really soft material. It moves really nice in the water, so it should work really well. Well, as always, I will link everything I use in the description section below with links to where you can buy them. Also, check out my sponsor, Risen Fly. They're the ones that made the beads and they made the hooks that I use today. They're really great. And best off, they're offering you all a discount. Not only do they have great prices, I mean, some of the best already without the discount, but they're offering you guys 15% off of anything you buy on your first order with them. They sell rods, they sell reels, they sell a whole bunch of stuff, anything you need to fly fish. Go to www.risenfly.com and type in McFly at checkout and you'll get 15% off of your first order with them. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. If you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that like button. Also, hit that bell notification for future video updates. I make a video every single week, and I will see you on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.